A year ago today Reds fans were reeling. On January 8, 2018 Felipe Coutinho completed his £142 million move to Barcelona to start the next chapter of his career in Spain. A lot can happen in 365 days, and a lot has happened for both the Brazilian and the Reds since then. As the curtain came down on Coutinho's Liverpool career, there were fears that the Reds would struggle to find a similar player who could salvage a game or win it, as the former Liverpool number 10 did so many times in a red shirt. Past history was worrying. When Luis Suarez's exited for the new camp it heralded a dark period in Liverpool's fortunes. But this time around, under Jurgen Klopp, it wasn't so bad. How did Liverpool fare with him? For two seasons Liverpool were consistent in their pursuit of European football. Coutinho was a key player in a teams that featured Simon Mignolet, Ragnar Klavan and James Milner before establishing a formidable partnership in 2017 with Sadio O'Main, Mohamed Salah and Roberto Firmino. The season of his exit, however, was plagued by issues around his pursuit of Barcelona move, leading to a mysterious back complaint and ankle problem sidelining the attacker. Coutinho's final half-season at Liverpool 20 appearances 12 goals 8 assists despite this, it was a memorable half a season for Liverpool and Coutinho, with the Brazilian taking the armband on three occasions, one of which he christened with a hat-trick in the 7-0 thrashing of Spartak Moscow. His free kicks were flying and rolling in. His trademark movement inside was more effective than ever with the German tactician fighting tooth and nail to keep him in the Liverpool ranks. We don't need reminding of the end result, but life goes on and Liverpool had to deal with it. But did they deal with the loss? How have Liverpool fared without him? Quite simply, magically. Liverpool's first task at hand was none other than Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. The Reds toppled the then league leaders 4 3. Following his departure, Liverpool lost just three times in the Premier League and maintained their fourth position, but this time the domestic league wasn't a priority. Coutinho parties with his ex teammates' video loading video on available click to play tap. To play the video will start an eight cancel play now. Liverpool had their eyes on number six in Kiv. They went to Portugal, beat Porto 5 0. Thousands went to Manchester and again Klopp had won over of his old foe Guardiola on two iconic nights at Anfield and the Etihad to set up a semi-final with Roma. The Italians had slain Coutinho's Barcelona in the quarter-finals albeit the Brazilian was cup-tied. Without Coutinho, Liverpool were fine, if not better. While there are still issues at times around the kind of lock-picking creativity he could bring at his best, Salah, Main, and Firmino are still firing on all cylinders. What about this season? Do we need to say anything about the Reds this season? Liverpool are top with a four-point cushion over Manchester City. There is still a lot to play for, 17 games to be exact, and nothing is won. But without the 26-year-old, Salah, Firmino, and Main have 29 goals in all competitions. And for Coutinho? He too can boast that he is top of the league with Barcelona, as the Catalan side are five points clear of nearest rivals, Atletico Madrid. However his personal form is not so impressive as he hasn't started for Ernesto Valverde's team since December 2 and play just six minutes at the weekend. Coutinho this season 23 games 5 goals 4 assists in all competitions, he has featured on 23 occasions, scoring a goal every 294 minutes.
he continued his rich vein of form against Tottenham Hotspur, however, firing into an empty net after two minutes at Wembley in the Champions League. With speculation heating up around the former Inter Milan man and Manchester United reportedly in talks, it looks likely he will see out the 2018-19 season in the famous Barca strip and potentially netting the Reds a further sum of money in the process.